Now, here's your Pentagon Channel report. The Marine Corps is getting a chance to put the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter to the test. The new aircraft arrived at Naval Air Station Patuxent River in Maryland Sunday, where it will undergo a series of workups to prove its capabilities. To suit the missions of each branch of service, there are three variations of the new fighter. The Marine Corps will use the F-35B, which has short takeoff and vertical landing capabilities. The Corps hopes to replace the F-18 Hornet, the AV-8B Harrier, and the EA-6B Prowler with the new aircraft. Officials say the testing at Patuxent River will start with shorter takeoffs and landings and culminate in the plane's first ever vertical landing. The new fighter can also carry more of an ordnance payload compared to older aircraft, has a greater range and possesses electronic warfare capabilities. And stay with us throughout the day right here on the Pentagon Channel for all of your military news and information. Coming up at 12.30 on Around the Services, we'll bring you the latest on the Defense Department's efforts to get troops vaccinated for the H1N1 virus. And we'll show you what the Veterans of Foreign Wars is doing to help today's wounded vets in Germany. Also, you can always catch the latest news and headlines coming out of both Iraq and Afghanistan each day at 1700 on Downrange. For the Pentagon Channel, I'm Staff Sergeant Josh Hauser.